How's it going guys, Agent here, and welcome back to some more fairy tale. Uh, the last episode was pretty cool. We stepped into the main event of the Grand Magic Games, discovered who the other seven guilds were, and it turned out one of them was Fairy Tale B. So looks like the odds of Fairy Tale winning is higher than the other guilds. We found out that Raven Tail was responsible for Wendy being sick at the beginning of the tournament. It was also Raven Tail that sabotaged Grey during the first event, which was a race. And Lucy also lost to one of Raven Tail's mages named Flair, which was bullshit because Lucy was totally supposed to win, but some external like force nullified Lucy's ultimate move. So, long story short, Fairy Tail is at the bottom of the standings, mostly because Raven Tail is constantly cheating and sabotaging our plans. They think we're gonna lose, but little do they know, it's just motivating us to go all out and try harder. Let's see if we can get some wins under our belt today. And uh, yeah, let's just hop right back into this and let's uh, let's talk to Gajil over here because it seems like he has something to say. Hey, Salamander. Come here a sec. Huh? What do you want? I heard that you went and trained in the Celestial Spirit World when you got back from Tenru Island. Nah, that wasn't for training. Thanks to that trip, we didn't have time to train, damn it. Huh? Well, whatever. You're not the only one who trained. You've gotten a bit stronger, right? Let's arm wrestle. <laughs> That's what you want? I'll take you on. A serious one-on-one -on -one fight? Ready? Alright. I guess he wants to duel. The Iron Dragon's test of strength? Let's do it. Come and get me, Salamander. Let's do it. This should be easy. Oh, it's a boss battle, technically. I think we're fine, though. Um, yeah, let's just... Fire Dragon, Iron Fist him. All our moves kind of do the same amount of damage, I think. Plus, he only does 75. And he's literally almost dead already. Alright, well, that was easy. Oh, that's a fast way to get XP, actually. 700 XP, that's a lot. Natsu, Gajil, are you okay? N not yet. I've got to win. That's my line. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. It's a draw. Salamander. We're definitely gonna settle this. Take me with you next time you head out on a job. We'll see who can do the most work. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. I'm gonna win though. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Alright, I think, yeah, we unlock Gajio as a character. So that's cool. Um, thanks to our upgrades, uh, when we level up the characters in our party, he'll also level up in the background, even though he's not really equipped. I actually really like Gajio, um, so much so that I, I'm willing to, hmm, replace Grey with him. But I think I'm going to wait on it because, you know, based on what we saw at the beginning of the game, you can have up to five characters, so we can throw Gajio in there later. Plus, it's really fitting because, you know, we're Fairy Tail Team A, you know, the four of us, and putting him on the team is kind of weird since he's a Fairy Tail Team B. But yeah, in terms of requests, we actually didn't do anything off camera. I think we grinded a lot um, between two episodes ago and the last episode. So I think we're fine. Join in the morning tournament activities. So we can just go ahead and do that. Um, just should be over here. Just start Grand Magic Games Day 2. Let's see uh, who's up next to fight. The second day of the competition is called Pandemonium. One person from each guild will participate. 
There are 100 monsters in the temple, all with a variety of abilities and fighting styles. Among them are S tier monsters. There's no guarantee that even the 10 wizard saints could defeat them. Everyone will select the amount of monsters they wish to fight and will receive a point for each one defeated. The class of monster you will face is random so it's possible you could face a truly powerful foe. It's better to fight many enemies at once, but numbers mean little if you can't manage to take out even one. So the more enemies you choose, the higher the chance of a strong one appearing. Guess we should be careful. If even the 10 wizard saints would struggle against these monsters. We won't get many points fighting just one monster per round. I'll handle this. Aw, oh, perfect dude. She's perfect for this. Urza versus 100 monsters? Easy. Let's do this. Are you prepared for the match? As ready as I'll ever be. The order will be determined by a lottery. Those who wish to participate, please draw a number. Alright, luck of the draw. I'm first. That's lucky. You get the most turns to fight. I got ace. I thought winning or losing in this competition would depend entirely on the luck of your draw. Luck of the draw? Planning sensibly and pacing yourself matter? Much more than just luck in this game. No, this is no longer a game. I'll take on all 100 monsters. By my right as first challenger, I choose 100. Oh boy. My girl Ur's about to slay, bro. Oh my gosh, I didn't know they were gonna throw them all at once. Th that's impossible. The game wasn't designed for one person to be able to defeat them all. That's not my problem. Ooh, this is perfect. Wow, uh, they're actually level 10. I'm save I'm gonna save the, the R1 for like a boss battle or something. Urza got this, dude. She got this. No worries. Uh, okay. Counter that. Oh boy, a freaking a horde of freaking I don't even know what they're called. Beasts. Beasts, sirens, and flutterers. Hang in there. You'll pull through. Thank you, master. What is, uh... Wow, they are... They are in weird positions. How much does this hit? This hits only four, three of them. This hits four, I think. Yeah, let's do this. Bloom and blood. Oh, Urza slaying! Realistically though, this would do a shit ton of damage. One beast used to do so much damage to us. There's like freaking 15 in that one square. Alright, let's see here. What's the best way to do this? I guess this is the best. Take out those two groups of enemies. Alright, I think we'll be okay. If anything, we have our magic chain. It just sucks. Urza has no sort of heals. Well, she can use items after all, never mind. These sirens just keep boosting their attack. Oh dear. Best to finish this one quickly. Attack boost? That's actually gonna come in handy. Alright, cool. Finally, those guys are out. It's just these, uh, this group of sirens. Should be easy, I don't even know if they can attack. Okay, well, that was easy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This one looks strong. I look forward to seeing what they can do. Oh shoot. Oh my goodness, I will not lose. I'm actually super happy I saved this. Super happy. What is that? Like three groups of pan demon golems. I've never even heard of those before. Alright, let's chain them up. Oh, we're fine. 
Oh, we're fine. We got this. That big guy in the middle is nothing. Nothing but a freaking damage sponge. Look at that damage! We did 82k! We're not even done yet. We're gonna hit 100k damage. Oh my god, bro. 141,000 damage. And that's just Urza alone. Literally got the trophy big damage. Jeez. Sea Empress Sword. Okay, we got a new move. Oh, cool. Chipped fangs are pretty rare. Pretty rare drop, and we got some of that. Okay, damn. She's fine, though. I, I can't believe this. She took out a hundred monsters all by herself. Is this the true power of the guild that stood strongest seven years ago? Oh, wow, she's so strong. I remember her. She's the strongest woman in fairy tale. Urza Scarlet. You better believe it. And then ends it with a smile. Queen! Fairy Tales Urza! Everyone's just instantly a fan. Urza! Urza! She's as crazy strong as ever. Fight me after this one! Hey! I'm so moved. I feel so proud. We haven't won yet. Fairy Tail Team A has taken total control in Pandemonium. Didn't even give the other guilds a chance. Here are the results for each of the teams. 100 to 0? Would you look at that? Fairy Tail's Urza took out all 100. Since all those monsters were already taken care of, the other teams had to compete in another competition. That's the way. Go fairy tale. All right, where are we now? We are okay. We went from eighth to fifth. Okay, take that Quattro Cerberus and Mermaid Heal. Poor fairy tale B though. All right, cool, cool. That's our Urza. Now I have to get ready for my match too. We're turning things around. Good luck in the battle. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So it wasn't even the battle yet, that was just like the morning activities. And then now there's the turn uh the afternoon tournament activities. Sounds like uh Wendy will be the one to um participate. I should probably put some lacrima on her, but I trust her. She was in the background the entire time, but she still gained XP as well, and she's like level 23 right now, I think. Time for the battle part. Looks like we're going up against Lamia Scale. That's Leon's guild. Aw, oh, we're gonna go against uh, Sharia for sure. And I'll be the one fighting. You've got this, Wendy. You'll be fine so long as you keep a cool head. Got it. Yup, little girl versus little girl. They still don't get how strong Sharia is. I can already picture the look of shock on Grey's face. Give it your everything you've got. Right. Oops. Uh, um, are you okay? Whoa! Oh my gosh, every, they're both just tripping. N nice to beat you. Yeah, you too. This is gonna be a wholesome fight. Alright. Let's, uh, let's do this. Wendy, good luck. 
Are you prepared for the match? Yep. Let's do this. Lamia scales, Sharia. I trained so hard. I have to do my best. Oh, she's resistant to all our attacks. Well, there's not much we can do, right? Just gotta roll with the punches. Sky God's Boreas. This is bad. Hit him with everything you've got. Alright, cool. Attack up. That'll help. Alright, I mean, that actually like kind of doubled our damage. We did like 300, now we're doing like 600. Hang in there! Defense up. Yo, this support is actually coming in clutch. I'm gonna start trying soon, okay? Sky God's Bellow. Oh dear. Best to finish this one quickly. Alright, you're gonna roar at me? Well, I'm gonna roar at you. Mega Sky Dragon Roar! Sky God's Dance. Alright, well, Sky Dragon Wing Attack. This is actually a pretty even battle. Yeah, let's just do that again. Nice. Ooh. Wait, maybe I should have saved the Awakening. Oh, well, we healed. That's fine. I take that. Ooh, they clash freaking... They clash their claw attacks. A Sky God Slayer. I wasn't expecting that. Leon told me that there's a girl who uses the same kind of magic as me in Fairy Tale. Did I go a bit too far? Sorry. Did that hurt? I'm fine. It is a fight after all. Let's just enjoy ourselves. I don't know if I can really enjoy fighting, but I'll do my best for my guild. That's wonderful. I'm fighting for my guild too. And for love. No. Get up, get up. Yeah. It's thanks to everyone's hard work that we've come this far. I don't like fighting, but if it's for my guild... If it's for my guild, then even I can fight. Jesus. Gave her wind to Kamehameha. I I might have gone a bit too far, but that should do it. Sorry. Hold on a second. I'm just getting started. Phew. You're pretty incredible, Wendy. What is she? Her wounds are disappearing. Doing okay? Want to surrender? I don't hate fighting, but I also think there's no love in kicking someone while they're down. So just surrender, okay? I can't. The fact that I'm standing here means I'm prepared to fight until the end for my guild. So don't hold back. Come at me until I can't stand anymore. Please! Okay. I'll honor your resolve. Thank you. Shattering Light, Sky Drill. Awesome. Oh, that's the move she just did. Ooh. Let's, uh, where is it? Yeah, let's try that move. Wait, that, that, that takes a lot of MP, actually. Uh, let's do this. Why not? Sky Dragon Roar. Sky Dragon Claw. Sky Dragon Roar again. Are we gonna claw again? Alright, it's just over and over. This is actually not doing as much damage as I would hope. Okay, I'm gonna give you a taste of what I can really do. I'll knock you out with this so you can rest, okay? Wow, you 
She likes to, to run her mouth as well. Heavenly Gathering of Clouds. Yeah. Oh my god. The fight's just getting started. You've got this. Oh, thank god for the heal, actually. Alright, we have to heal. Uh, we only have... Yeah, Wind Heal is the only heal we have. Alright, we're fine, we're fine. We're still in this. Phew. Oh, that took, uh, took a lot out of you, huh? Hang in there. You'll pull through. Nice. Alright. Alright, now they're just going at it again. Okay, that does a okay amount of damage. Think you can stop me? Give it your best shot. Ha! This is bad. Finish it now. Sounds like she's gonna attack us pretty hard next next turn. All right, good thing. Okay, we we blocked and we awakened. Wait, no, she's just. What was that? She just charged it up. Oh no! Wait, what? Apparently she attacked because she's tired now? Now, show me your manly strength. Gauge up. Oh. I'll gladly do that again. We're awakened too, so this should do a lot more damage than the first time. This one actually feels like a fight because... Like... Like when we did Lucy and Flare, Lucy was kind of OP, so the fight ended pretty fast. Ooh! Okay! Oh my gosh! Oh, I wish that finished it! Wait, it did! Oh, that's sick! Lightning Charm? That was a pretty cool ending. That was like a freaking Vermilion Rasengan. Time's up. The result is a tie. Oh wow! You did so well, Wendy. You both did. Good job, both of you. Going just by the power of her magic, Sharia should have won. Are you hurt? I'm sorry. You keep saying that I'm... You keep saying that. I'm fine. <laughs> that was fun, huh, Wendy? It was a little bit of fun for me as well. Right? Let's be friends. Sh sure. If you really want to be friends with someone like me. Hey, don't be so uptight. One more time. Let's be friends. I'd love to, Sharia. Why can't everyone just be like Wendy and Sharia, dude? That's the end of our fight. Want to watch the others? Yeah, let's watch. Oh, Sabretooth's match is starting. Ooh, it's Kagura versus... The best in Fior. Watch closely. This is the guild to beat. They're up against Mermaid Heal, the all-female guild. Sabretooth's Celestial Spirit Wizard, Yukino Agria. Let's make a wager before we, we begin, shall we? Celestial Spirit Wizard? That's the same as Lucy. Apologies, but I'm not interested. Do you fear defeat? I fear nothing of the sort. But since a wager once made 
must be followed through. I would prefer to avoid frivolous distractions. Then why don't we wager our lives? I don't think you can call that frivolous. If your challenge is sincere, then I shall accept. Now come. You must be quite unlucky to be matched against Sabretooth. Open. Gate of Pisces. Gate of Libra. Blade of Resentment. Arch Enemy. Style of the Undrawn Long Sword. Impossible. The Celestial Spirits were erased? Oh, that was fast. You made a losing wager. Mermaids eat tigers. Do they? I lost. Sabretooth lost. Your life is mine. Understand? Yes. As you say. Sabretooth lost. I don't know if the saber girl was weak or if the mermaid girl was just super strong. The latter. She didn't unsheath her sword once during the entire match. You mean she was holding back? I don't know. Hopefully that's all there is to it. Dang. And that's the last of the matches. Since Fairy Tail and Lamia's skill tied, the points will be split equally between them. Mermaid Heal is victorious. Let's take a look at how that uh, that affects the rankings. All right. Uh, Fairy Tail A is still at fifth. I think that's how it was before. But still, we made some gains. Pretty good. It is now the evening. Not bad for day two. Keep it up. Hmm. A visitor. Lucy, you have a guest. For me? You're the celestial spirit user from Sabretooth. I have an important matter to discuss with you, Lucy. Why is someone from Saber here? Let's at least hear what she has to say, Natsu. Please forgive my sudden request, but I would like you to have these. The keys of Pisces and Libra. Please, take them. Huh? I can't take these. When I saw you on the first day of the games, I decided that I would give you these keys when it was all over. It's not over yet. It is for me. I'm sure they will replace me with Minerva. But why? Aren't those keys important to you? That's why I want to give them to you. I'm sure the spirits would be happier with someone stronger. I'm flattered, but I don't think I can. You possess 10 of the 12 golden keys of the Zodiac. With these two, you will have all 12. And the gate to change the world will open. The gate to change the world? It is an old legend. I also do not know what it means. You, uh, you love and are beloved by the spirits. You should be the one to walk with all 12 of them in hand. I really can't accept these. Celestial spirit magic is based on bonds and trust. Changing owners isn't something to be taken lightly. This is not something I chose lightly. What? I thought you would say something like this. I'm sure you will collect all 12 in due course, regardless. I hope we may meet again. What a waste. Yeah, that was your chance to get all the keys. Collecting them used to be really important to me, but not anymore. She may be part of Sabretooth, but she cares a lot about her celestial spirits. I can't replace her bonds with those spirits. I don't want to. Lucy, I'll be right back. Huh? Where are you going? I forgot to tell her something. Hmm. Wonder what he's gonna say.
right, we're playing as Natsu now. Hey! Wait up! Natsu? Phew, sorry about that. You're not a bad guy, right? Natsu kinda already decided that everyone in Sabretooth was a bad guy. So, I came to apologize to ya. Apologize? My bad. That's it? Sorry, but this is an important step in Natsu becoming an adult. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You came after me just for that? You looked really sad and I guess it just didn't sit right with me. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. No need to apologize. Wait, don't go crying either. What? What's wrong? I've never been treated so kindly before. You see, I've always looked up to Sabretooth. I finally joined last year, but now I can't go back. They forced me to quit after a single failure. They made me get naked in front of everyone and erase my mark myself. Oh my god, I was so embarrassed. They took everything I had, and now I have nowhere to go. Sorry, I don't really know much about how other guilds work. Natsu? Yes, of course. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. But I do understand, as a fellow wizard, being embarrassed and forced to erase your mark really sucks. Making their friends cry. That's not a guild at all. Friends? Their inn was in the western part of the city, right? Head to Sabretooth's inn. Uh... West part of the city, right? Here we go. Natsu about to give them a piece of his mind. Oh shoot. Where's your master? You have business with me, boy? Oh, he looks powerful. So you're the master, huh? Firing someone just because they messed up once. You must think you're pretty great. What did you just say? That means, if you lose to me, you have to quit too. You dare challenge me, boy. Natsu? Looks like someone's got a death wish. Fro thinks so too. I can't forgive anyone who treats their own friends like that. I do not understand, but it seems you are following your own logic. You saying you don't know what I'm talking about? Take care of him. You're running away? You are far too young to be playing soldier. If you wish to fight the best, prove that you have what it takes. Let's go! Lightning, fire, dragon, firing hammer! <laughs> Oh jeez. Is that Minerva? Minerva Orland. Guild's Sabretooth, Guild's finest lady. This has gone far enough, don't you think? Oh yeah? Minerva, what do you think you're doing? You know, in this world there is this thing called appearances. Obviously you're the aggressor here. But killing other competitors wouldn't exactly look good for us. How about it? Let's resolve this... peacefully. Happy! That is, unless you want your little friend to get hurt. Sorry, Natsu. Happy! Damn it! You've taken out quite a few of us, but we're willing to overlook that. Let's settle this like adults.
They caught me at the entrance. Sorry. It's okay, Happy. It's my fault for leaving you. Let's go home. I. You have guts, boy. We can finish this as we see fit in the games. I won't lose to people like you. You won't even be able to keep up. A guild should take care of its friends. That's all I wanted to say. Friends? Our guild has no such thing. Is Natsu Dragneel really this strong? He got turned on by seeing that weirdo. Alright, episode 3 complete. Finishing up the chapter. Like I said, it was a picture of a uh, fairy tale B. Hey Lulu, wanna go to the pool? The pool? Yeah, apparently there's a big pool nearby. We should all go. That sounds great! The pool, hmm? Should we invite Natsu and the others as well? Nah, let's not. It'll just cause trouble. Mira and the others are already there. Let's go. Oh god, here comes the fan service. Oh! Oh, oh there's a full cutscene for it. Bro, there's like a dozen watermelons here. Or is it not be doing this? And then they show the underage girl swim by. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wendy's like, why don't I have watermelons? Jesus Christ. Holy fan service. They're literally zooming in on it. That was cute. After they stopped zooming in on the watermelons, it started to get kind of wholesome. Sorry we're late. I finally found you. Who is it? Hehe. <laughs> How's it going, champ? Been a while, huh, Urza? I missed you. I think this is another childhood friend. So it's like Urza, Jalal, Miliana, and used to be Simon, but Simon died, apparently. So, you joined a guild? Yeah, Mermaid Heal. With Wally and Sho? Mermaid Heal is all girls, silly. Those two are still traveling around, but I hear from them sometimes. I see. I'm happy to see you again, Miliana. Me too, Urza. So good to see you doing well. Don't cry. I could say the same to you. That Kagura on your guild is really something, isn't she? Right? She might even be stronger than you. I hope I get a chance to face her one day. Maybe you will, in the tournament. But I don't think she'd ever go all out during a match here. Is that so? You saw her sheathed sword, Arch Enemy, right? That's quite the name for a sword. Like the name implies, she's sworn to only unsheathe it in order to kill her true enemy. Someone so despicable that they cannot be allowed to exist. 
The man who took everything from her. Joe Lal. What? You feel the same, right, Urza? I hate him too. He enslaved us and killed Simon. I'll never forgive him. That's why I joined Kagura's guild. Yikes. Difference in, uh, in opinions there. Colonel Arcadios. Well, if it isn't the Minister of Defense, what do you think you're doing? Whatever do you mean? Stop playing dumb. Why are you looking for a celestial spirit wizard? Don't you think it's too soon? I wanted to conduct the test as soon as possible. It's too soon. It's not ready yet. Minister, would you mind lowering your voice? Besides, it has already been completed. Uh, what? Saying it's unfinished is just a pretext to increase the budget. All we need is a celestial spirit wizard. An eclipse will be at the testing stage. Impossible. How could it be completed in just seven years? The project will now move into phase four of plan B. Hence, we need a spirit wizard. It's common knowledge that you are against Project Eclipse, but you cannot stop us now. You're a demon. For the good of king and country, demon or angel, it doesn't matter. What is the life of one girl compared to Eclipse, the gate that will change the world? There are two celestial spirit users, one with ten keys and the other with two. They cannot stop us. We will collect all twelve and activate Eclipse. Zeref, 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 Zeref. Mwahahaha. Chapter 4, Battle of the Dragon Slayers. Oh yeah, bro, this one's gonna be lit. The tournament lasts five days. Since today is the third day, I guess that means it's hump day. You might still be far from first place, but it's not too late to turn things around. One step at a time. You're right. Let's do our best today. You guys are in a weirdly good mood. What happened last night? N nothing We just promised each other that we would win. Right, Wendy? Huh? M me Yeah, N nothing happened last night. Yeah? Well, whatever. Alright, let's head to the arena. Alright, Chapter 4, Episode 1, Grand Magic Games Day 3, Sabertooth and Raventail continues, keep racking up wins and bring the guild to victory. Alright, we can now change some characters into their swimsuits. Oh my god. Use the dresser in Lucy's house to change costumes. <sighs> Tempting, bro. Tempting. You guys will see uh, next episode what I decide to do with that. There's still time, so keep training. Every bit counts. Alright, time to take on a few requests. Oh, about that. Talk to Mira Jane? Alright, not talking to her just yet. Actually, let's do it. Because I, it might unlock requests that uh, that I can do off camera. What's up, Mira? Well, the council has finally granted us permission to go back. Huh? Go back where? To Tenru Island. That entire region has been off limits since we returned. It was. Yes. I believe the council needed time to secure the area. I mean, it makes sense. A whole island vanishes only to suddenly reappear years later. Best to check it out. But now they've finished with that and it's open to the public again. We've even been receiving quests that will require us to revisit the island. You can count on us. We'll take care of them. Tenor Island, huh? Might be a good spot to do some training. Alright, cool. New area to do requests on. Probably gonna unlock a bunch of requests on the board. Alright, well the objective was to reach top 50 and we are currently at 38 due to all of our grinding and everything, so... It's good that, uh, you know, every episode we got to progress the story a bit. 
But yeah, whew, we finally get a chance to breathe. That was a lot of back-to-back cutscenes and everything. But... But overall, it was fun. It was cool. You know, the morning event, Urza owned. So got all 100 monsters, left literally nothing for the other guilds to destroy. Brought us to 5th place. The, uh, Wendy Sharia boss fight or battle or duel or whatever was, uh, pretty wholesome and cute. Ended up being a tie. But, uh, it was so fun to play. It was cool, like, going back and forth with Sharia. Like, it actually felt like you were going nowhere. It actually felt kind of tough. And that's with, like, our Wendy being a little bit overpowered. So it was kind of surprising. But fun, either way. Um, and then, yeah, we finished up the chapter, the game blessed us with a nice, you know, bikini cutscene. As a, you know, as a good job, a nice pat on the back, like, you know? Like, you, you, you grinded, you worked hard, you won some battles, like, here's some watermelons. Feast, my boy, feast! <laughs> and now we have the, the bikini costumes available in the, in the dresser. Um, so let me know, let me know. Do you guys, like, want Lucy and Urza to be running around all over the place with their bikini? Or do you want, you know, things to stay realistic and keep their, you know, usual attire on? Let me know. I'm not really sure what to do with that. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Definitely a good place to stop. Um, next episode, Grand Magic Games Day 3. Morning event, afternoon event. Looking forward to this uh, Dragon Slayer fight. Based on the, uh, you know, the chapter image. It's uh, it's Natsu and Gajiel over there. Fire and Iron Dragon Slayer versus Sting and Rogue from Sabretooth. The Light and Shadow Dragon Slayers. It's gonna be sick. Probably one of my favorite fights in the anime. Still re uh, remember it to this day. Despite me watching it like seven years ago. Looking forward to it. But yeah. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs if you liked it, sub if you're new, comment if you want me to talk with you. I'm Agent, you're awesome, those are facts, and I'll be back in the next one. Peace.